Dodge dealership right now. My buddy is buying a brand new Cummins diesel pickup truck. Check this out. Check this thing out. Brand new 2017. 2500 Cummins. Manual. Let's get the screen. 322 miles on it. Beautiful truck. Six hours. It's like going on 6 a.m. and we actually didn't even sleep, but we're still going. Um, Make sure the paint here. I just want to say thank you guys for watching up front here. I want to say thank you to Julio for helping me out with this. If you think it's bad, um, mean, and it looks good, shoot this video a thumbs up. We got the Putco Blade LED tailgate light bar. Should be ideal with like a swivel gear wrench. But I don't have that. If you're looking for something on your windshield that's going to look good but not affect your driving, this is what you need. Mm. To reach my goals and everything in life and get where I want to be, um, step one is trying to make this truck and you know build it up to be like a SEMA quality truck. Here. It's pretty much a frame. And now we're going to spray this with black. Here is the grill, guys. Obviously, I don't have my nameplate in and I don't have all the rivets in. I love how it turned out. I love the two tone. You guys ready? Can you see what is in three days of work? Here we go. Here's the custom RVP grill I designed. Just looks it looks so so much better so guys here are all our options this is illusion purple this is what's on my intake and i'm gonna be honest with you that's pretty on point uh looking at this i think illusion purple is gonna be you know the, the actual winner here today on my truck we will be installing yes that's right the pedal commander on this truck things like this right in front of the house getting this done it, it just shows you the, it's just awesome it just shows the whole process and how anybody can honestly build the, tr the, the you know the truck of their dreams so I just think that's super cool I just want to show you that when you when you do and you take on projects with you know yourself like this it just shows you all the hard work and dedication and you know effort you put into your own build Turn again Turn me on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There it is. I 
MySpace now, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you still have life in my time. Just got the rendering back. Uh, we went with 26 by 14 RBP forged Mojave wheels. For now, we're doing the intake horn and the boost tube. There is the uh, factory boost tube, and if you take the wheel liner out, it's right in your face. Uh, the clamp is already on the bottom, so all we're gonna do is just kinda stick this on. Here is the new lift, guys. And then in here, we still have so many parts that I didn't have room to take out. And as you can see, look at this. It's an awesome. Awesome compliment to any lime green. There's your size representation. They are massive. Yeah, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is the day. Six inch lift, no more. But today we're putting on the new lift kit for the truck. RBP, max altitude lift. It's, it's coming together. When this is on the ground, this is gonna be a big truck. However, this is what goes into building trucks like this, guys. And it'd be nice if like, you know, I wasn't trying to get this done in two days and I had like a whole week. Walking clear onto the mirror, no more hitting your head on it, no more nothing. I was gonna do a big, like, cinematic reveal, but with the amount of work and time, effort, and everything I put into this truck, I just sit back, take a breath, and look at the truck on 40s and 26s. This looks awesome. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. You may ask me why I'm so happy right now and my truck looks like this. Transfer case, ratchet strapped, trans open. And I'm supposed to be leaving for Daytona in like 12 hours. So I got them done at Safety Restore. These look awesome, they're not even in the truck yet. Even the belt sides, those are done as well. Get that oven working, do some powder coat testing either today or tomorrow. What we have to do is take off this big hitch. Um, support bars and all. Uh, this is our front, a stock front diff cover. My girlfriend Katie is actually going to shoot these uh, diff covers here. New exhaust tip. <laughs> Seema crunch, guys. What's up guys and welcome back or to the channel. What does this look like? This looks like a truck that needs to leave for Las Vegas tomorrow. And the bumpers are still in the living room. 
<laughs> the horn blasters kit is not here. And we've just got so much to do, light bars to wire. I'm probably gonna be up all night, freaking hoodies. It's like, it's going, it's getting colder right now. Um, but we're gonna, uh, we're, de we're gonna get this done. There's also some shots and footage I wanna get of this before it leaves, but I don't know, man. We are pressed for time. What we gotta do right now is get these factory bumpers off because I need my parking sensors out of them. I need the harness, I need the sensors themselves, and I just gotta get them out. I'm trying to remember how I took these bumpers off. It doesn't look that complicated. I know the tow hooks and light bar will stay. Just trying to remember. But yeah, we got lots of work to do and little, little time. So we're gonna dig into this. This thing also needs cleaned and detailed and just everything all the way around. But she's almost in her final state. I can tell you the bumpers are being put together right now. They look so good. I'm pretty much there. The thing is I'm stopped on uh, is the, the, the sensors. I've been working all day. That's why this video hasn't really started uh, till now. But I've been working all day getting the bumper set up and I've been working all day getting the light bars wired. And I've been working all day getting, sheesh. Uh, the horn blasters thing set up. I, I gotta go. I gotta put the horns on the spare tire to lead kit, man. We have a long night ahead of us, boys and girls, for whoever watches. And I spill it myself. Let's go. All right. Scratch that, guys. I completely forgot. Well, one, I need ha I need a half a tank. I mean, I need a quarter tank of fuel to park inside the Las Vegas Convention Center. So I gotta burn some fuel, first thing. Next thing, next thing, I'm not gonna be driving around town with no bumpers on when I take them off. So I'm gonna go burn some fuel, go to the store, get the tools I need so I can finish the job, come back, take the bumpers off, and then repeat, put the bumpers back on, burn more fuel, and yeah, so it's crazy right now. Ah, uh, literally, literally, they had one set of these and one set of these. So it's definitely, definitely my day. Um, I only need the eighth inch hex key in here because my the other one's missing. But I'm always sitting there fiddling around looking for the right one, so I just bought a set of two. Like I, I just need the tools, so I got that. And then I got snap ring pliers, so I can get the um, the snap ring out of this uh, D ring here, so I can powder coat this when I get home as well. I'm actually so excited. First of all, I'm so excited to not only go to Vegas but bring you guys along. And on top of that, when I get back from Vegas, guess what? We're buying another truck. I don't think I'm gonna sell this one while I'm out in Vegas. I mean, the offer would have to be completely ridiculous, but I just did all this work. I definitely wanna keep it. But we're gonna be buying another truck when we get back from Vegas. You guys are probably gonna be excited about that one. It's a little different, but you guys will definitely be excited about it. Um, but when I get back, we got a new project coming. doing this all the time because it's like I don't want to break the clothes but this girl's also like put in there and painted so I'm like oh is it scary <laughs> oh this one's broken oh there it is there's the last one completely completely forgot about that one I'm so proud we just kind of need that <clears throat> my dad's like He's like, I'm coming over with major lighting. <laughs> thank right now? Yeah. So thank you. We're gonna need it. Oh yeah, look at that. It looks so funny with no uh, <laughs> No pumpers curl. This is like throwing me back. Alright guys, here's where we're at. Stock bumper off. Both front and rear. 10.55 at night. Um, so pretty much a video was supposed to go live right now. Um, well, earlier. Uh, obviously I'm filming it, so that's not happening because look at look at what's going on. Exactly. We got the whole front end apart. Grill off, bumper off. We do have our new brackets on. We had to take off the intercooler and we had to get all this stuff set up. and. 
bolt it up here so we can get our new bumper on. So definitely, definitely have a long night ahead of me. This is what we got going in here. We have the light bars in and we've got our harness in here for the parking sensors, but these are way too short. So I'm gonna have to cut these and extend them so they can reach these down here. Other than that, I mean, that's just what we're caught up on here. Mike's over there running the uh, one for the rear. Yeah, definitely, definitely a lot of hiccups and it's definitely not helping that it's like the night before. And um, yeah, I forgot, we got our horn blasters things almost assembled, everything's here. Everything's uh, put together. Um, definitely gonna put the horns on, but I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to run this to power or not by the time in the morning. So it might just be on there for show. And then when I get back, I'll be able to hook it up. But everything here is kind of put together. <laughs> you better get these pizzas here stacked though. Barrio. Ooh, also Cozumel. So, the loose wire is the plain wire. Uh, I don't know if I have any good ones or not, but... Ooh, thank you. Hey, where'd you find those? I've been looking for those. I don't know. There's some. There's so many things on these bumpers that I'm like... The loose, so the red goes to the white. 1120? Yeah. That guy said 1110. Apparently, you, you could do that with Uber Eats. Oh, yes. Who's laughing now? Fucking bumper. Well, as the joys of the night continue, spilt all my uh, heat shrink tubing. Oh, fall out. But, good thing is Papa John's was open till uh, 11, so still gonna be a long night. All right, guys, look at that time. It is 3.49 in the morning, and look at this when I move my phone. We are missing a bumper. Oh, that's right, we just threw the front bumper on. That took forever. It weighs literally way, way too much. That is so heavy. Um, it looks awesome. It honestly looks awesome. Uh, we're gonna figure out what we need to do to knock out this rear and get everything wired up. And then I can finally get my horn blasters finally finished and put together. Whew, we're cooking on this all nighter, guys. What are you doing up? Hey, it's 5 a.m. Uh, we're about to go to Starbucks. So yeah, there's that. Oh guys, it's definitely coming together. Definitely been a long, long night, making a lot of progress. Stock bumpers, all these parts everywhere. We got nuts and bolts all over the driveway, tools everywhere, but it's coming together. And I hope to I hope to get it done before the shipper comes, but also I gotta cut out decals still, I gotta powder coat the tow hook still, and I gotta wire all this crap up. So that's why we're getting caffeine. Off we go, right? Uh, uh, sorry neighbors. Can't see. Oh. No, where's Dirty Max Jack? Hey, don't turn my wheel off. 6.08 a.m. Ain't no time like the present to start powder coating. It's 6 a.m. Definitely not running the compressor outside. Definitely not powder coating outside because it's pitch black out. Gotta improvise in my level of like. I don't even know what is just at zero. So uh, I'm in a makeshift like a uh, powder coating studio here and we're gonna be shooting the D-rings right here. Uh, should be just fine. Our power land on the plastic, it'll be cool enough. I wish it was taller and higher up, but it's what we're gonna deal with. I honestly just wanna get it done. I'm kind of like dreading the two coat process right now because uh, I just want it done and over with, but we're getting there. All right, we got this thing set up. This is gonna be the most awkward powder coating I've ever done, but I'm just gonna use the space I got. Oh, excuse me. Definitely like grounding out on this chair or something. Oh, I shocked myself. It's shocking on the chair. No, it's right here. Yeah, but look, it's shocking on the chair over here, too. At this point. 
Okay. Like 20 minutes. Oof, I'm exhausted. Uh, yeah, I almost fell asleep with my. <laughs> almost fell on my face a little bit ago. As you can see, I'm. I'm not gonna cut that out. I'm really tired, and I probably look really tired. But we're gonna take these out of the oven here. Oh, one more coat, 20 more minutes. Somebody come help me. Oh my god, I forgot I zip tied this. I think I'm being defeated by a twist tie. How do I? What the heck? Okay, there you go. I hope those are covered enough, because if not, I'm going to be some sort of livid. Okay. Here we go. Alright, those were cooking for like three... I mean, they're cooking for 20 minutes, but the last three minutes, I took a nap on top of the stove. I was... Don't ask. Uh, <laughs> I already looked at them, but we're gonna, Mike's going to look at them for the first time here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, those are going to look super good on the truck. I hope I hit every angle of those, because I... Uh, I am like half asleep and it is officially 7, 7 30 a.m. so the sun should be coming up so we'll have light to work on our truck now we can shut the lamps off outside but just shut that oven off let them cool and go find something else to work on. <laughs> Holy crap. It's like 9 a.m. This is like, this is insane. I am beyond tired, exhausted. This was honestly supposed to be done. I was supposed to be getting like rollers and stuff on the highway and shooting other shots and detailing this truck, putting out my decals right now, and the truck is in pieces and our shipper said he'll be here in two hours. He did say he'll give us a hand if he needs because he's into trucks and stuff as well, but oh my. It's still, it's still not together. Things aren't wired. Horns not in, but are going to be. We might pull the um old all show no go. I mean, um, I'm gonna have everything in the front wired. However, I don't think four seam on my horns or the light bars in the rear of my bumper will work. Just for the simple sake of time. Um, effort, I mean, like I said, they don't need to be on at the show. Batteries have to be disconnected at the show anyway, so nothing will be running. It's just all there off. But boy, am I tired. This is the, the state of our rear right now. Like I said, everything needs wired. The only thing I may wire, which I probably should, is obviously I'll plug back in my trailer wiring. But also... My license plate lights. I gotta figure out how these license plate mount, by the way. I have not a clue. Um, but that needs to be done. Oh, baby. This is unreal. I am exhausted. If it doesn't look like it, <laughs> I don't know what else. This is unreal.
one of these jobbers. I don't know how, I went through like an entire memory card. I only have 26 minutes left. I guess it was 24 hours of random crap I filmed. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Oh my gosh, that is nuts. All right, guys, there you have it. 24 hours later when we started and 36 or 34 hours, 34 hours later than I woke up last. Um, you could probably tell and you could tell probably by the energy in this video. Um, it is, oh, it is like an amazing feeling. The truck is off the Vegas. Um, it's an accomplishment built right here. I just want to say a huge thank you to anyone who has ever helped me work on this truck. Anybody from the old shop I used to work at, to people in Columbus, to people who have helped me here in the driveway. You guys are awesome. Honestly, making a dream come true. Building a SEMA truck was once a dream. I used to sit in my uh, bedroom of the old house and say, watch the videos of SEMA trucks and be like, you know what, I'm going to build one one day. And the fact I finally could and did is just surreal. So I want to say thank you all for your support. Obviously, that is not the video I wanted to reveal the truck to you in. However, stay tuned because we got some wicked, wicked, wicked content coming at you um, live from Las Vegas starting next Thursday. Um, oh, unreal. I just want to say thank you to uh, my girlfriend Katie for helping me detail that truck and uh mike obviously guy remember timbaland green comments out there for you know helping me get that truck together lifting bumpers staying up late just getting it done in crunch time here um if you didn't catch me at the beginning of the video yes i will be buying a new truck after sema will i be getting rid of the ram uh no unless somebody gives me some ridiculous offer i cannot refuse and i'm looking at the woods right now and where did all the leaves go uh it's turning into winter guys but um yeah, honestly, I'm buying a new truck as soon as I get home from SEMA um, for more reasons than one, including um, definitely need something that's not all pretty and powder coated for the winter here because that's just going to ruin all my hard work. So I need to buy a new truck as soon as I get home. Stay tuned because I know what I'm buying and <laughs> you guys are going to love it. So um, <laughs> stay tuned for that. Um, but also, like I said, loads and loads and loads of content coming at you in Vegas. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys would be interested in like 10 days straight. I'm out there from uh, October 31st through November 10th. Uh, let me know if you guys would be down for like the 10, 11 days straight. I'm out there. See if I can uh, film, edit, and upload every day. If you guys would be interested in that, let me know in the comments below and shoot this video a big thumbs up. You guys have been killing it on the likes lately. Uh, every recent video is cruising over a thousand likes and I really, really appreciate you guys for all the love and support. Oh, it means a lot. I am so exhausted. I am so tired. But it's gone it's on its way to SEMA and I can't wait to see it out there can't wait to see some of you guys out there and can't wait for some of you guys to see the truck and see it in its natural habitat <laughs> so guys if you haven't been here before please get down there click subscribe if you enjoyed this video shoot it a like take care I will see you guys in the next video I'm gonna go to bed <laughs>